Hey, what's going on? My Brookfields here. How are you, all you hoochie coochie people out there? Today, Hoochie Coochie Man, a much requested tune uh, on my channel. If you're here watching this channel, you're probably an Eric Clapton fan. We do a lot of Eric Clapton around here. Uh, thanks to all the people who've signed up to Patreon. I will put the notes up, uh, my notes up uh, for this on Patreon. It will be a free download. All you have to do is become a free member and just grab the PDF. And it's probably better to grab the PDF first before you start playing along because it'll save you a lot of time. Um, and thanks to all the people who are uh, supporting the channel. It's only a tenner a month. You just uh, sign up and then you're supporting the channel. I'm much more incentivized, is that a word? To, um, uh, to do these videos knowing that uh, people are expecting them and supporting them, supporting me in this uh, you know in the past i'd be a bit stuck starty with these things but since i started patreon i've been pretty uh, consistent and that's due to the people who've signed up and um uh, supported the channel so thank you very much to you uh, paid members and uh, all the all the people that comment and like every week i, I appreciate it okay let's get stuck into this hoochie coochie man somebody was requesting the uh, you know to save a child version of the uh, you know the, the recent concert release um I went to go and do that one, but I stumbled across this Royal Albert Hall, May the 20th, 2024 version. And um, he plays a beautiful solo. And what, what kind of uh, attracted me to it was the fact that it was just one chorus, but it contained loads of really juicy stuff. And that's kind of more valuable than trying to learn three or four choruses. And it's, uh, there's too much volume there. You can't get through it, you know. Uh, a lot of the things that I look out for when I'm doing transcriptions as well is the turnarounds and the kind of phrases he uses. Or are they uh, phrases that I've kind of done before? Do they feel kind of unique to the the performance? And this this is a really good one, actually. Uh, brilliant study in playing an A blues. And hey... And A blues is pretty common, isn't it? Let's, uh, the audio, I kind of just ripped off YouTube, some, you know, iPhone footage type of thing. So um, I'm going to play it and then I'm going to show you uh, my transcription of it. And, um, you know, grab the PDF. Let's play along. Let's get into Eric Clapton. What we're doing is we're just nearly every week, we're just getting our magnifying glass and we're having a look. What's going on here? You know what I mean? And we could be looking at him from the 70s, 80s, 60s. 90s 2000s um it doesn't really matter he's playing great on this it's fast and hard i mean i'm gonna play this at 75 percent, and it's still really hard at 75 percent. and he's nearly 80 so how what inspiration is that okay uh let's check it out it starts with the bed. so that just cut that is all kind of like before the one of the uh of the beginning of the chorus which he's soloing on so it's so he starts with a it's three four one so he's bending on the the one hand and he lets it soar like Eric likes to and then he bends again and then he pre-bends twice and then you bend up bend down 13, 14, quick hammer on. And that all happens very quickly. And it's that kind of like, when is the note, note legato and when is it staccato? When is it long with vibrato and when is it cut short? That's the kind of, you know, things that make it sound, if you're trying to reproduce it, that, that can make it sound good. So. So that's the first kind of little phrase before the one. And then he's just, he, he continues that with a... And I love the way he twists back on himself. You think he's just going to run down, but he, he twists back. And then... So if you've got the, the the PDF there, you can see the way I've given you those little chunks. So if I play that whole, I've kind of chopped this up into about six chunks. So it's. That's 
the first phrase. So there's loads going on there. And I remind you, that's at 75%. So when at 100%, it's pretty blistering. Um, so again, I'm going to count in. But remember, this is before, this is bar 12 of the previous uh, bar. So it's three, four... So that's, you know, really nice um, opening to the solo and pretty. He's coming out fighting, isn't he? He's coming out fighting. He's got a big band and he's socking you with a big uh, blues descending line. And then let's check out the next bit. <laughs> So it's got this lovely double stop, so kind of like nice and staccato. You know, and you're kind of playing off these, you know, 15 and 14, pulling off. So. You know, uh, really classic kind of clapped and stuff there. So he's, there's a nice kind of little thing which leads. He goes. And then he goes into a nice little triplet. So. And then he does like a couple of. He miscalculates one, but we're not going to pra practice a miscalculation. You know, he's just going... And then he does a run down. So just listen to that in context. So there's a lovely written run down there. There's a lot of that stuff going on. It's him like he's taking a breath, isn't it? He's still filling it up, but he's kind of almost taking a, uh, a phrasing breath or something. So that is like... You know, really, really nice. Uh, check out the next bit. You know, back into sorry mode. So he's just come down. He's done, finished on a low. You know, and then he's, and he kind of lets it soar, doesn't he? And then he kind of plays it again and adds to it. So. And then adds, you know, more again. So. Uh, and then the next bit is um, is the bit where I thought definitely I have to transcribe this because it's a beautiful phrase, you know, as it goes to the five chord. That's kind of the first point, if you like. Do it again. Again, just follow the tab and see the way I've just done it in little chunks. And then he carries on. together it's lovely isn't it the way he he plays really in that high register um and then he comes down 
with a, a classic triplet leg. <laughs> So, um, Hoosie Coochie Man, Royal Albert Hall, May the 20th, were you there? 2024, Clapton, he still got it, he can still soar, and, uh, you know, thanks to everyone again for your support, let's keep it rolling, if we can, and keep it burning, I'll see you on the next one.